I can hear. Did you read something interesting recently? Yes, I listened to an audiobook and it's called Daisy Jones in the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It's uh, the story of the rise of a world famous 1970s rock band and uh, the way that it woke up, but we don't know how they did. And uh, the story is that uh, Daisy Jones is actually an up and coming um, young singer and uh, the six is a, a band mostly of men and uh, the, their manager decides to bring Daisy Jones in and uh, when they start singing together Billy Dunn is the lead singer of the six and when he starts singing with uh, Daisy Jones it's magic on stage and but uh, behind the scenes it's another story there's a lot of lot go, going on and um, uh, they break up and it's nothing new like I'm not spoiling anything it's we know they broke up from the beginning and the reason why I really enjoyed that book is um, I I'm pretty picky on my audiobooks uh, the, the sound is perfect on this uh, book uh, usually I can tell when they stop and start the, the day the next day but not with this one it's really perfect and the people that they chose to read for each character have beautiful voices and you, I, I believe that they were maybe in a band at one point so it's really really good and one of the the, the, the person that does the voice for Daisy Jones is actually um, uh, Jennifer Beals Oh. the actress from uh, Flashdance <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the guy that does the voice for Billy Dunn the lead singer of uh, the six is uh, Benjamin Grant oh. so uh, yeah I really really enjoyed it what about you uh, mine isn't an audiobook but I, d I well technically it's available in audiobook as well it's uh, Romancing the Inventor by Gail Carriger. It's my favorite author. She's written so many good books and they're LGBTQ. Okay. IA2+. Yes. Um, so she she's talking about a lesbian relationship in the story and it's very peculiar because it's in Victorian era but with a twist. Ooh there's werewolves and vampires and this way um, what's not considered normal sexually at the time is more accepted mm -hmm. because of the supernatural element so there's this young lady Emma Jen that goes and decides to go work for vampires because she's a lesbian and she knows she won't be accepted in the society because of it so it's her secret but with vampires, it's accepted because they're seen as more fluid and they have more power, so power comes a little bit more leniency. And that's what happens is that uh, she goes there and she meets an inventor. Mm -hmm. And it's a French inventor, so it's a little bit more sexy. <laughs> um, it's Madame Le Fou. Okay. And it's interesting because it's since it's a Victorian era England, they talk a lot about dresses and historical accuracy is really good. And uh, it's written, Gail Carriger is an archaeologist, so she brings that aspect to her stories. So you feel like you can see that dress she's describing. And then you see the characters and Madame Le Fou, I've seen it in her series. It's one of my favorite characters because she has sass. She's <laughs> such a sassy character. And I relate to her so much. And I'm like, geez, it's really interesting. And she dresses like a man in a world that normally wouldn't accept it. But since she's French, 
it's okay. <laughs> and then the, you see complication and of course supernatural complication in the story and then you never know if they're gonna be together. So it really keeps you on your toes and I've read it as an ebook but also as a paper book. It's not a long story and it, even though it's part of a larger series it's a standalone book so it's a good way to be introduced to that author. Mm. And oh, it's still my one of my favorite thing to read. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for matching your hair with my coat. I know <laughs> I did it especially thinking about meeting you here. It's so pretty too. I know. Want to walk with me? Yeah. <laughs>